this on the video? It is. Okay. And action. And action. So today we went out to the shops and I thought that, um, I, th I was going to vlog today, but my small camera have a little G7X and for a while now, like the front little shutter bit in front of the lens has been kind of sticking and stuff. And so I've managed to kind of knock it out of the way and managed to fix it and use it anyway. But now it's just sticking really badly. Plus it's just not recording for any length of time. I think it's dead. I think it's done. So I didn't vlog out today, but now that I'm back, I just thought I'd do a little haul of what I did. So I went into Hobbycraft and I got some embossing powder. So I've already got silver and I've already got clear and white, but I got this tinsel gold, which I just thought would be really pretty for um, embossing things. I want to make Valentine's cards now because I sell them through Summer Shop. Um, so I just thought like some uh, gold embossing powder would be really nice. I got some washi tape, washi tape, washi tape. I don't know how you say it. This is from Dovecraft and it says love on the side. Now it's kind of difficult to see because obviously the tape is layered up. But it's just got these little hearts that say love. And I just thought that that would be cute again, Valentine's cards. Um, I got this tape pen, which is not that interesting. I just needed another one. These, these ones from Hobbycraft's own brand are only a pound. And I had one before, it's pretty good. But the tape snapped um, like halfway through me using it, which meant it was like unusable because you can't really take it apart to fix it. I usually use the Crafters Companion one, but I've just been really struggling with that one recently. It just seems to just not be working that well. This is not interesting. So I've just got another one of the pound ones and hopefully like the tape won't snap halfway through using it this time. Um, I also got this, which is quite interesting. These are like sticky, like adhesive metallic sheets. So you get out in all these different colours and you can die cut your little shapes and stuff like that then just stick them directly onto your card. Which I just thought was really interesting because it saves you putting any sort of extra ad adhesive, I can't even say the word, um, on the back of them. It means you can just like peel and just stick it right on and I just thought that nice metallic effect would be really interesting. Um, I got some more card stock as well. This is the, what is it called? The Seaside cardstock and these are just all the different colours here so this obviously would be really nice for sand and um, yeah just various you can kind of see it's just focusing on my face isn't it their inks were down to 125 each so I just got a white ink a yellow ink this nice blue which I thought would go with the seaside paper and also some purple. So then we left Hobbycraft, that was in Glasgow Fort, and we went to Glasgow, um, we went to Brayhead Shopping Centre. And I went into Accessorise and they were having a sale. So um, I just got myself a little bag. So it's just this little kind of over the shoulder bag, which has um, a small pocket on the front. It has this little, what's this called, a D-ring for like hooking your keys or whatever. I'm probably gonna hang, hang a little hand sanitizer off there. Um, and then it's got the big pocket, it's got a little zippy pocket inside. And it was originally 25, was it? Yeah, originally 25 pounds down to 12.50. Then we went into HMV. Now HMV, if you have one of their cards, I think it's called a pure card. Uh, yeah, pure HMV. They do, I think it's monthly. They do like a membership offer where they have records. They probably have other things as well um, on sale. So, this record I'm about to show you was originally $20.99. My Pure HMV card, it was $8.99 and it's the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1. I just like having different records and for that price, it just is another one to add to the collection. So I went into the Disney store next and so when we were in Florida in May, I'd bought myself a new mug and I'm not sure if I ever showed it, but unfortunately Dexter managed to knock it over one day and smash it, which was very sad. But luckily the Disney store in the UK have started doing it and it's this big Baymax mug. Just looks like this and then on the back of it it has this which it took me a while to realise what it was but then I realised it's a piece of tape from when obviously he tapes up his arms and stuff like that. And on the inside, if it would focus, it has all the little like happy face and grumpy face so like when my cup is this full of coffee I'm in pain until I drink it all the way down and then I'm happy again. Mostly, to be honest, I use this as a big soup mug um, because it's just too big for coffee. It's, this is way too much coffee, even for me. And then, let's see, 
I went into Waterstones and I bought um, Giovanna Fletcher's new book, Some Kind of Wonderful, because as you can see, it was half price. Um, I enjoy Giovanna's books. They're quite kind of an easy read. Um, so it's like books you don't really need to think about too much. It's a kind of nice story and enjoy her books. And then finally, the last thing that I got, I'm going to have to move you to show you what it is. Okay, so this is the last thing. We've got a nice shadow over this. This is great. This is great camera work here. So it's the Treasure Me gift collection from Zoella Beauty. So this was obviously her um, Christmas kind of gift set with various bath things and all that in it. And it was originally £40, which is just, I mean, let's just not get into the price of Zoella products, shall we? But it was originally £40, and today in Superdrug, they had lots of them on sale for £9.99. So I thought for £9.99, that was a much better price for all these products. Um, and yeah, I kind of wanted to try Zoella Beauty stuff, because I want to see if it's any good. So, so it comes in a really nice box. We've actually already looked at this, and everything inside, take a lid off for me. We're going to keep this box. Yeah, everything inside came wrapped in just like white tissue paper, but we've unwrapped it all now to show you what was in it. So it's, it does all just kind of rattle around the bottom. So the size of the box <laughs> is a bit big for what you get. So you get this shower puff thing. It's like a flower. Yeah. You get this. This is what Dexter's going to use. Yeah. It is um, Snow Scoop Bubble Bath. Yeah. If it would. Bubble bath. Bath. Snow Scoop Bubble Bath. I think this is a kind of weird um, kind of tub for bubble bath to be in. It is a liquidy bubble bath, so it would have been better if it was in something that was going to be a bit easier to pour, but it is what it is. We'll try it out. We're going to use this tonight. We're going to use that tonight. Nice. Yeah. This is Snow Fresh Body Wash. Everything has the same kind of scent. It's just a kind of nice, fresh, kind of clean smell, which is pretty nice. This is Snow Silky Body Lotion. Um, oh, this is the Body Butter. Snow Smooth. Everything is snow instead of so, obviously, because it's been the, the Christmas stuff. You get two little sashes of this bath milk powder, which, again, Dexter will be using because I don't take baths. I don't enjoy a bath at all. I take a shower. Um, there's this Snow Polished Body Polish, which is an exfoliant. And then finally... <laughs> Finally, there is this, uh, focus, Winter Wonder Hand Hand Cream. So that's my part of the haul over and um, I'll set you up and leave you to Dexter's part of the haul next. Okay, so my mum finished. Let's get to the haul. So we went into the works and I got myself some four pack assorted glue sticks. Goes from small to high really like that. Also at the works I got these little animal highlighters. Beautiful. Oh these are really cute. <laughs> That's one of the reasons I got them. I also got these pear and blackberry droplets. Like if you're feeling travel sick or something you just suck one of these. I got some chopsticks out of Yo Sushi but no one cares. Uh, out of Asda yes I got some extra chewing gum. It has this little clip it's for like in the car, you put it on your vent, you're like, oh, I want some chewing gum. Oh, there we go. So, in the McDonald's Happy Meals, they give you a little toy. The set I've been collecting now is Pokemon. I do have more than two. I, I left them. So, we have Rowlet, the Alolan starters, the grass type. His action, he is a wind-up figure. And then Scraggy, which I have no idea which generation it is. His action is you press him down, press him down again, and he just jumps. Then this is the biggest thing. I got this. I've had to fold it. Some tights. Is it tights? It's leggings. Leggings. Thank you. All right, so that's everything that we got today. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm, I just came over. Okay. And Juno wants in the left room. Okay, we'll see you all next time. It's like a madhouse in here. Bye. Just a silly face I'm going through